If you want to boost your vocabulary so you can speak more of your target language, the worst way would be to try and learn all the words. The best way? Through focused vocabulary and phrase lists for everyday topics that you need as a beginner, such as greetings, replying to how are you, and much more. And you can get hundreds of these vocabulary lists for free, if you know where to look, because you won't find these anywhere else. So stick around! Today you'll discover 1. How to get our vocabulary lists 2. How to boost your vocabulary and 3. All the bonus learning tools you get inside. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So let's jump in! I'll guide you through our learning system so you get to see exactly what's inside and our members only study tools. Okay, so let's take a look. So first, let's examine what are the free vocabulary lists. So to access the free vocabulary lists, these are available for all members on the website, you simply go from your main dashboard to the vocabulary drop-down menu at the top of the page here and click on vocabulary lists. So here you'll see a bunch of different categories, a bunch of different themes, things related to certain topics of conversation, holidays, etc. So to access the information inside the list, you can hover over one of the lists and click on view list. So for this one, let's take a look at the common ways to say thank you list. So click on view list and you'll get this page that has all of the different expressions included on it. So I want to talk a little bit about the different tools that are embedded in the website that you can use to study these vocabulary words. So first, let's take a look at the different icons that are here to the left of each of the expressions. The first is this icon, the speaker icon. If you want to listen to a native speaker say that vocabulary word or say that expression, you can click on this and you'll hear that. Then, to the right, you'll see that there's this microphone icon. So you can use this to record yourself saying that vocabulary word. This is super, super helpful if you want to work on your pronunciation. So you can record yourself saying that, and you can compare it to the native speaker's pronunciation, and that's a tool that you can use to make sure that you're pronouncing those new vocabulary words correctly. Okay? So next, I want to talk a little bit about this checkbox that's to the left of each of the expressions. So if you click this, you'll notice maybe that these two things just above the word list have changed. So we can do a couple different things with these checked vocabulary words. We can first add selected to flashcards. So if you have a flashcard deck that you're already using to study, you can add any words that you select here to an existing flashcard deck. So if I click on this, you'll see a few things come up. So there are some decks that are already on this account. I could add this new vocabulary word to any one of these, or I could create a new deck with this vocabulary word. So if you already have a flashcard deck that you use to study every day or every week, you can easily add new words from this page, from this very, very easy to use checkbox system. Okay, so that's one thing. And then the other thing here is this selected to word bank, add selected to word bank. So if you click on this, the word will go to your word bank. You'll get a notification that the word was added to your word bank. So your word bank is something you can access from the same drop-down menu up here at the top. If you go to word bank, you will see a list of all of the words that you've added to this bank. So this is something that you can use if you know there's like a certain category or a certain topic that you want to study more, or maybe these words are particularly hard for you, something like that. So if you want to use this word bank, you can do that here. Okay, so the last thing that I want to talk about here is this button up at the top of the screen. This is view as slideshow. So you can select a few different vocabulary words. You could select the whole list if you want to, and you can click the view as slideshow button up here. And then you'll get to select some things relating to your slideshow. If you want to hear audio, if you want the loop playback option, and then you can start the slideshow and you'll get to practice in this way too. So there are a number of different tools that you can find right here from the vocabulary list page. So one of these is available, all of these tools are available for each of the different vocabulary lists that we just looked at at the main vocabulary list page. So make sure to check these out. And another thing to think about is that if you are a member on our website, of course you can access all of these for free, but we will also sometimes email you vocabulary lists. So 
for example, if there's a holiday that's coming up, you'll get an email from us that has a bunch of vocabulary related to that holiday. So as you can see, there are a bunch of different ways that you can use these vocabulary lists to study new words, of course, but you can also work on your listening skills and your pronunciation with all of the tools that we have available on our website. If you want a free way to boost your vocabulary and speak more, check out the free vocabulary lists. There are hundreds inside our library and all you need is a free lifetime account. So if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account.